Hello everyone, welcome back to another Sudoku. Today we're going to be looking at Laser Time's classic Sudoku. So, uh, we're sort of having a Laser Time marathon. I've done a lot of their puzzles. I just woke up, so probably gonna be pretty quiet on this one. Just doing standard uh, eliminations here. Now we look at the fours. These aren't quite lining up enough to get me anything yet. I'll keep notating though. Eventually we'll find the next step. This can't be five or three. This is either eight or five. Yeah, I guess we'll come back to that. What was I looking at now? Fours? Oh, we got up to sevens. Four, seven, and nine, all looking at that cell from the row. Three, and eight, and nine, and ten. From the top. So what's missing? One, three, five, six. Whoops. If that's five, then all of that becomes five.
doesn't really tell me much beyond that. This one is interesting. It's kind of interesting. Does fours fives over here? Leaves that as a three six pair. All right, what about if a six is here? No, I don't think that's it. All right, this. Six seven pairs to come into play somewhere. This is missing three nine six no three nine five eight. Alright, if this is 5, we get something similar to what we had before. Then the 8 in this row would go over here. So that space ends up being an 8. If that's a 5. And if this is an 8, then this is an 8. So if this is a 5, it forces a 5 here. And a 5 here. And now the 8 in this row... Wait, no, is that right? Oh no, it's the 8 in this row. This can't be an 8, and this can't be an 8. So this becomes an 8, which would force an 8 here and an 8 here. So whichever happens, this is an 8. And that 8 shoots aside this... No, not the 7, the 2, right? Yeah. 2 and the 7, actually. Which shoots that 7 over there, and now we got a 4 what pair? 4 6 pair. And a 4 9 pair here. And the 6 is helpful here, because the 6 is looking at that. 4, 6. Alright, 
Alright, what's up next? Well, the four here should align with, uh, this weird X-Wing. Got X-Wings, like, everywhere on the force. Um, this needs a one still. Do you have any progress on ones yet? Alright, in terms of twos, twos are restricted here. That can't be a four anymore. One is wild. And eight is... Oh, eight is paired up, right. That should be helpful then. One, two pair, that's familiar. I don't know why it feels like I always get these one, two pairs. Uh, let's see, six and eight aren't really helpful. Uh, the one is helpful. So we got one, four, five, nine left to place. And the nine matches up with the fours. So now that's the one and that's the five. Very nice. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six is missing. Six is somewhat interesting in this spot. Force is a six there and there. And there. know how it ends. A six here. Good force a six there. I don't really know how this ending would work out. It doesn't look like the way to go. Five only go in two places here. That might be worth denoting. Ah, yes, they do line up. So this can't be a five. What could it be? One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's either a one or a six. One in here is limited. Here affects a lot. One here is actually insanely interesting if you look at the row logic for five. It forces a one right here. Is that hugely useful?
not seeing much. It does move the six over. Somewhat. Three, six, one, five. Or three, six, five. Triple over here. One, two, five is missing in the row. As is seven. Can I work out sevens yet? Yeah, I didn't see this. So that's a seven, which moves a two. And this two sorts this out. The six also sorted it out, but you know. Uh, that's a two, that's a two, that's a four, that's a five. That is now a one. Why can this not be a five? You know what, I probably had good logic for this. Let's recheck it though. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, good. That was good logic then. Good job, me, with the logic. Vroom. This can't be a five anymore. So that's a five, that's a five. Not an eight. Uh, this one looks at that up here, which gives one, eight, four. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three needs to go in this row. And eight needs to go in this row. Now this must be a three. This is a one. Eight pair. This is a three. Six pair. And the eight is looking at this square, so that's a one. That's an eight. We probably could have done that a little bit faster if I noticed this 7. Uh, sometimes when I'm scanning, you just miss a single digit and that costs you like a, a few minutes of uh, wandering about. But pretty interesting Sudoku. Shout out to uh, Laser Time again for putting out all these Sudokus lately. Uh, really good Sudokus, I might add. And with that being said, be sure to like the video and I'll see you on the next one.